What up, world? What up, man? At this again, at Dre Watts Topics, you know what I'm saying? At this afternoon, you know, 12.52, you know. And uh, today's topic is, you know say the last topic of today, I did one topic, you know, about the uh, Black Lives Organization not mentioning. This topic is, you know, which is so true, you know, that religious folks not really going to talk about at all, you know what I'm saying, and go to church or Kingdom Hall Mosque or whatever they go to congregate, worship, they're not going to really talk about it, how I'm going to put it. The topic is that time will come far as a test, the test of righteous and the wicked and a very, very chastisement that he's going to bring upon us. Okay. Now, your pastor may sometimes preach about this and this and that, you know, and how you should get in the church and be saved, you know. But it's more to that. It's more to that, you know what I'm saying? It's more. But just like I look at it like this. I don't care how many times you go to church. Sunday, Wednesday, whatever. Gather around for a communion, whatever. I don't care how sanctified you are. But you're going to be judged just like everybody else that do not go to church or go to Kingdom Hall or go to the mosque. Rather you righteous or you're wicked, you're going to be judged. You're going to have a chastisement come down upon you that was so great. That is so great. And I think as far as the judgment, the people he's going to judge first is the black man and the black woman, then the white man, then the uh, Indian man, Chinese, Japanese, Korean man, all them, whoever of the human race. He's going to start with us first, you know, straighten us out and go on and go on, you know. It's going to be a very, very chastisement, you know what I'm saying. He's going to put us to the test as far as our faith and our strength and belief, you know what I'm saying. So it's going to come a time when they say it was written in the word that says something about the uh, Antichrist. He's going to come. That's another test right there, you know. So when the Antichrist comes, you know, some people are religion, righteous people. Is going to go that route because they cannot take this type of uh, multitude of pressure like that. Some people that go to the church, kingdom hall, mosque, synagogue, or whatever organization you belong to will fall under that mark of the beast and go that route. Rather than go this way, they go that way. You know, he's going to judge the righteous and he's going to judge the wicked. You know, so I don't care how many times. You say you go to church, you know, say how many times you pray or read the word, you know what I'm saying? The Bible is just a book of guidelines of what to do and what not to do. That's it. You know what I'm saying? How how to live, you know, that's it. But when that time comes of judgment, that Bible is useless. You know what I'm saying? When, when God comes back, you know, and reveal his face, he's going to say, that's it. I'm coming down here to straighten y'all out, set y'all on the right path. The right and only straight path. You know, you can go to that Bible all day long, but that Bible is useless. That Quran is useless. That uh, Judaism Bible or whatever Bible is useless. You know what I'm saying? When he comes down here and straighten us out with a great chastisement, you know what I'm saying? So great that we can't bear. We're going to take, take a bottle of a liquor and a gun. We're going to have a bottle on the table with a gun on our lap. And take that gun, take that gulp of uh, liquor, and blow our brains out. That's how that's how, um, how great it's going to be. People could be com committing suicide, you know. So, that's why uh, you have to, you know what I'm saying, get the courage to stand up and say, and face God, like, you know, and tell God from 1 to 10 how many sins you did, you know what I'm saying. And be like, God, I did that, did that. It's up to you, God, to throw me in that lake of fire. Or allow me to still live on paradise or on earth. Ball. You know? I drive to the hoop. I drive so, a race car. I have a driver. People of religion is not going to say that at all. Done. How God is going to put us to the test as far as the chest ties with that way. Not at all. They, they want to preach this heaven talk all the time. 
we going to heaven, pack up, pack up, we going to heaven. And when I preach that all the time, but not look at the, the cold, hard fact of a chastisement of a test that's going to come upon us human beings. Like I said, you're going to start with the black man and black woman first, then the other races, you know, because we are black men and black women. We are the God's chosen people anyway, you know what I'm saying? We are the true Jews, the true Israelites. We are the true, you know what I'm saying, the true uh, Hebrews and the Levites and the Philistines. We are the true that, you know what I'm saying? He's going to start with us first. Straighten us out, then go to the white man, Indian man, Chinese man, Korean man, Japanese, whatever. He's going to go to them people, you know. So, just like I look at like this, when that time comes, it's going to be one or two people left, you know, hiding from the Antichrist. That the Antichrist, you know, he try to search out the... Uh, Jesus' followers by scouting, using his hitman scouting, and his hitman can't find these two, maybe one person, whatever. The last person left that stands with God, stands with their last strength, their last faith, a little bit of strength and faith. And when God sees that they about to give out, God will be right there and say, "That's it. They are my chosen people, right there. I'm gonna start anew with these, with this person and that person. Start anew." That's how great it's going to be that time comes. That's why Louis Farrakhan said uh, the foundation of Armageddon will be so strong, so strong, it's so heavy. And people is going to, people is going to blow their brains out. Crime is going to go off the chart, you know. Yes. Armageddon, the Antichrist will reign. Ooh, what, what, uh, the tribulation for seven years, something like that, you know. So, the devil gonna show his face real, real clear, clear as day. He gonna look ugly as what, you know what I'm saying? Because he's not beautiful like he once was when he was in God's household, you know what I'm saying? The devil is ugly. Satan is ugly. No woman would even bear to see the sight of this man, this being, you know. So, that test will come that we all humans have to witness and have to bear. Even a child, you know, have to witness this. Adults and children. So, that's how I look at it. I mean, it's crazy, but that's how life goes. You know what I'm saying? And God gave us choices as far as free will. Either you do this way or you go that way or you go this way either you follow me or you don't that's it but we are everybody in on on this planet is is sinners we we are not perfect you know what i'm saying i don't care how many times like i said i don't care how many times you go in that church and clap your hands and listen to that man preach and put on the show whatever i don't care when you get behind closed doors you do it on god knows what the opposite of god underneath the sun so we all got some dirt we all need to be uh, straightened out. We all need to be cleansed. You know, so I need to be cleansed thoroughly. <laughs> I need to be cleansed thoroughly from head to toe. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to come at me talk about you a, a saint and you, you don't do no wrong. Please get out of here with that. You sound like the devil saying all that. You know what I'm saying? For real. But that's how it is. When that time comes, it's going to be a test. A test of faith, test of, test of strength, and test of belief. And the righteous and the wicked. That's that. Dre Wise Topics. I am Dre Wise. You can post a comment, what I just said. Like, share, subscribe. Do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? This is all real. You know, topics from me. Dre Wise. I am Dre Wise. And this is Dre Wise Topics. Peace.